Hey guys, this is a 1.13 Minecraft tutorial about detecting players from a certain radius and changing their game mode. So, I have these three quadrants, and if I walk between this one and this one, my game mode gets changed from survival to creative. As soon as I cross this line, it gets switched. This was the setup, and I'll show you how to do this on that command block there. So this command uses the execute command, which has recently been what well, all the commands have recently been changed in 1.13 for a, a more JSON Java style. So the first thing we're going to need is of course execute, and we are going to be executing if, because it's if somebody or some if a certain certain criteria is met, so if entity at key, which is the nearest player, then we can add some information, so if they've got like a certain achievement, a certain location, game mode, XP level, a name, a score, there's many things you could do this by, but we're going to do by distance, so if they are in a certain distance, it will be triggered. Now, two dots imply that, that that means within the area, and so for this we'll have area of six. This is because from including the command block, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is six blocks away, and we want this green line to be lined up. So this green line still counts, but as soon as you enter the blue, it doesn't. So, if you only had one dot, or I think it's no dots, then it'd be more than six. So if you were in this area, you would be fine. If you're outside of it, you would have then the, the command block would execute. So at entity at p distance six. You can then have it running the command, uh, and in this case, we're gonna have it set to a game mode. Or for this one, we will have a game rule. Uh, do daylight cycle. Uh, actually we'll do run time set day. Then we need to declare what we're doing this to. So this is going to be, oh no we don't need to if it's time set day. So to make it for this case we'll do run game mode and we'll go spectator. And then we need to pick the person we're going to be aiming this at. So we could have it set for all, for a specific entity, um, for a certain player, radius, and I can't remember what S is. So for this we'll have at P. Make sure to also declare the distance again. So this time we could have distance, it needs to be the same, dot dot six. And that is it. We could also change this, so we have distance six, comma, when you're writing multiple commands in the same area. So this section here is all the information about the entity at P. So distance equals six and the name of the player equals quotation marks status line. It will check to see if the player equals my username. So that will be whatever your username is. That bit there will be whatever your username is. It will only activate if that player is in that area. So if I have it running for status line and it selects here. If someone else is closer to the command block, it's only going to activate for them. So we then need to have it again. Name equals dias line. And it will run for me. Next case we could have is uh, sort. It's sort uh, equals nearest. Or nearest. There we are. And so the closest person to the ground block will then be teleported there. So if I was inside this area, someone's closer to the command block, that person closer would have been teleported. Another option we could have is limit equals one. Limit is the amount of players with it which will be teleported. If this was set for four. If there were four players in this green area, all four of them would get teleported. But if there are five, still only four would get teleported. If there's three, all three of them would get teleported. 
in this case we're only going to need distance. And I believe that is it. So we can hit done. I've got this set as a repeat and you need redstone. Though you could have this set to always active, but if you ever mess it up, you cannot alter it back. So try setting it to something you could easily change. And hit done. And click the switch. And so now I'm in spectator mode. Come into this area. Oh, I can't change you now that I'm in spectator mode, what an idiot. If I come to this area, this is creative. This area here will now be survival. You can see the one block difference. And as soon as you enter this area, you'll enter spectator. Thank you for watching. I've been Dire Slime. Stay cool.